Hey girls and guys, it is Ada from Style Let's Play, and today we are playing my heartbreak story, Fall for Bestie. I mean, with just that title alone, we know there's going to be lots of drama. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Oh, oh. Love is always a crazy hey thing. Oh. My name is Maggie. Yes, this is me. I was adorable, right? <laughs> Aww. And that is Lucas, celebrating my fifth birthday with me. So they've been friends for a long time. This is us now. We've been besties forever. <gasps> Let me guess. She loves him. We even go to the same high school, where Lucas had his first crush on the most popular girl at school. So she was friend-zoned. He needs my help. Otherwise, he wouldn't stand a chance. <laughs> oh, wait. He helped him get a girlfriend? Oh, she helped him get a girlfriend? Okay, so, so far, I'm not sure if she actually likes him, but I, what I think is going to happen is she's obviously going to fall in love with her best friend, but he loves someone else, and things are just going to get real, real messy. So, let's get into it. All right, girl. Listen, Lucas, when I finish giving you a makeover, Emily would definitely agree to go out with you. Let's go shopping. All right, so we're going to help Lucas look super cute for the girl that he likes. So let's get you some clothes. Let's pick you a nice shirt. These shirts all look way too dressy in my opinion. Like, you know, I wanted to put, put something casual on. But I would say that one, that one's cute. It is a little bit more formal, but it's still it nice. Good. I need some pants. We could pair it up with some jeans and then like, it'll make it look a lot nicer. So, oh, we got some ripped jeans. Do we have any skinny jeans? I like those, those are cute. And now, a nice jacket could be magical. Okay, a jacket could make this look a lot. Ooh, that first jacket looked really nice though. We could go with that one with some like black tennis shoes as well. I think for me it would have been between this one and this one, but I think I'm gonna go with this one right here. And now for the shoes, what kind of shoes would match my new outfit. Kind of want some black shoes to go with the jacket. There we go. And Shopping yeah. is so tiring. Let's have a drink. <laughs> it's like, I'm so tired from this. Can I just have some coffee? Okay, let's add some milk to that. And let's add some ice. So it's a nice iced coffee and some sugar because we don't want it to be too bitter. Perfect. And let's add some unicorn whipped cream with a bendy straw because bendy straws make everything so much better let's be honest, with some mints. Cause sometimes coffee can leave your breath smelling a little bit. So now we need to make another coffee cause he's not gonna be the only one drinking the coffee. So let's add the ice as well, just like we did for his. With one cube of sugar. Perfect, not too sweet. And let's go with some, oh this one's cute too. Now she needs a bendy straw too. So we're gonna give her this striped one and we're gonna do a little heart sprinkles. Coffee is made and ready to go. So here you go and here you go. Now, let's give her a beautiful oh, necklace. Pretty. Thanks, Lucas. Oh, he bought it for her. Girl, if he's buying you a heart necklace like that, he might like you instead. Hey, Emily. Uh-oh. <gasps> What's gonna happen here? Hi, Lucas. What if Emily doesn't like him? Do you like baseball? I like baseball. <laughs> He's so awkward. <laughs> I know. You're on the school team, right? I remember you from your last match. Ooh, he, she, she, she remembers you. That's a good sign. Wow, great. Uh, are you free tomorrow? Do you want to see the team practice? Oh, inviting her to the oh, practice. Yes, I'd love to. I heard there's a big match this Saturday. Lucas, invite her. Yes, and we are gonna train hard for that. Mm-hmm. Gotta win. Gotta score those points. Sounds fun. I'll see you tomorrow then. Bye. Look, is that a will? Bye, Emily. See you tomorrow. Good for you. All right. Lucas is getting closer to his dreams of dating Emily. All right. So far, so good, Lucas. Emily has helped you out by making you look super cute. Wow. I did it. They really hit it off. But why am I not happy? Ooh, this is when she's starting to realize. Let's clean this place first. She's starting to realize that the garbage. she likes Lucas. That's what it is. 
wipe the dust off the chairs. That's what it is. She's starting to realize that she has feelings for him. Maybe she never knew before. What a mess. Let's sort these into the right places. That's probably what it was. You know, like all these years, she's just loved having him around. She never realized that she actually had feelings for him. Logo on the ground. Okay, so let's paint this logo over here. There we go. Oh no. This is that little thing that shoots out the baseballs, no? There goes the stand there. That go oh this goes here. Goes up there. And then the balls go where? Oh at, at the top. There we go. And then they just come flying out. Boop, 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 boop. Here we go. So let's get him in his Oh! <laughs> Look at him rocking that crop top. <laughs> How do I look? Let's, Let's put, put on, on my these. Training shoes. His hat. And then he needs a baseball. Awesome. Yes, I of need course. my bat. There we go. You're all ready to go, I'm Lucas. Good to go. Where's Emily? I hope she would come as promised. She probably will. Oh. Hi, Lucas. How's it going? Aw. Perfect. Emily said she would come to see the trainings. Oh, is she gonna get jealous? Oh, good for you. But uh, actually, I was asking about your training. Ooh, she started to get in her feelings. Oh, hey, Lucas. Okay, Emily, you better watch yourself. Hey, Emily, here you are. Wow, you guys seem really serious about this training. Well, duh, he's on the team. Of course, we intend to win. Hey, do you want to try batting? Just completely ignore yes, your friend. But I don't know how. There she is, just standing there. Don't worry, I'll teach you. Ignore her, poor her. Look at her. She's just a third wheel now. She's just been pushed to the side. I should be happy for this, right? But why am I not happy? Because you love him, Maggie. That's why. He should be with you. I'm already team Maggie. I'm sorry. Emily, you got real cute hair and stuff, but I am team Maggie, all right? Hashtag team Maggie. Oh my, am I witnessing the start of a romance in the canteen? I think so. I am starving. Let's grab some food. Is he gonna say, Sorry, can't grab food with you because I'm gonna have food with Emily instead. Ugh. <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to feel some type of way. So let's make this sandwich. I'd like a sandwich. Well, that's good that you would like a sandwich. Maggie would like to go on a date with you, but you don't give her what she wants. Let's put some tomatoes. And some hot dogs. Some hot dogs on bread and then cheese. There we go. And then finish that off. Perfect. And now some salad just to try to be healthy. Ooh, I like mushrooms. Cucumbers, I love. Strawberries, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about peppers. I love sweet corn though. Mmm. There we go. And now let's make some drinks. Let's go with some coffee. Cause it's been a long day, you know? And then a cupcake. Let's go with, okay, we'll try to be healthy. Let's go with an orange. Try to live that healthy life, you know? Perfect. Let's go sit over there, Lucas. Uh, who, who wants to bet that Maggie, I mean that Emily's gonna show up? Hey guys. See what I mean? She's always there. Hello, Emily. I'll be like, hey Emily, go away. <laughs> Emily. You know what? I decided to join my friends over there. I'll leave you two kids alone. Be good. Aww. Shall we go? Luki should have been like, are you sure, Maggie? Why don't you just sit with us? He's just ignoring her now. Wow. I hope he does not forget who his real friends are. Maggie. All right, here we go. So, so far she's starting to feel very alone and I completely understand the way she's feeling right now. Lucas's baseball team has a big match on the coming Saturday. I'll print a poster to show my support. See how sh sweet she is? She does all these things for him. I'll make the most eye-catching poster. Right, let's go with a teal or turquoise that always catches a lot of attention. Ooh, I like that one. That one's cute too. We'll go with that one. And then the pattern and stuff for it. Whoa. That's a little heart one. We can't really put hearts, can we? But that one's cute. 
still very eye-catching. Then we need to put the logos. So let's go with one right here. And then we're gonna write a message. Oh my gosh, I have the worst writing ever. Go team go. That's it. Go team, go! <laughs> Love Maggie. <laughs> Done. No, you actually did quite good with that poster. I'm happy with it. And then let's go ahead and pin it down. Let's go with this one here. Let's go with another one. We'll go with this one here. And let's go. We're going to go with different shades of blue. Just to keep a theme, you know? So I think we've gone with that one. Let's go with this one again. Perfect. There we go. Poster is all made. And it looks fantastic, if I don't say so myself. <laughs> I should become a professional poster maker. So I can't wait for this game. Oh, whoa! It was so intense. Lucas collided with someone and passed out. Oh my gosh! God. What the heck? Okay, this was just supposed to be a fun little baseball game. He was not supposed to get hurt. Let me treat your wounds. Okay, let's get his wounds taken care of. Whoa, I did not expect this to happen. Let's clean off his face. And his arms. He looks like he's been beat up. Let's stitch up his clothes. Even though, to be honest, his clothes doesn't even matter right now. We just gotta make sure he's okay. Let's give him some water or something. Oh, water. Okay, we got water. Don't worry, Lucas. I'll go find some water for you to drink. Be right back. See how it's always Maggie that's there for him? Through the tough times? Oh. Oh no. Lucas looks terrible. Here, drink some water. Emily saves the day. Ugh. Okay, so let's give him some water. Is he okay now, though? What happened to me? You got knocked out. Just boop! Just like that. Emily? I am so happy that you are the first person I saw when I woke up. The first person there for you was Maggie. How do you feel like this? Hmm. I am fine and happy. Can I, um, take you to dinner? To thank you for taking care of me when I passed out? I took care of you. Actually, it's Maggie who's been taking care of you. I saw her running away in a hurry. Seems to be looking for something. She really cares about you. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah, I... Okay, I kind of didn't like Emily, but after this, she's going to be my best friend. It's okay. You guys should really think about what you truly want. It seems to me that you two are more than just friends. Don't take things for granted. If you know what I mean. You know what? Huge props for Emily for realizing that Lucas and Maggie are actually meant for one another and that she should back off. I like her now. I feel bad for saying all those horrible things about her. I'm so, sorry, Emily. Is this a date? I need to tell Lucas about my feelings. Okay, we're gonna make sure you look super cute, okay? Don't even worry. What happened to Lucas in the match was terrible, and I was totally freaked out. We could tell you were totally freaked out, girl. And I may have figured out why I felt unhappy when seeing Lucas and Emily together. I think I'm having some serious feelings for Lucas. We all knew that already. We already knew. Why did this happen? Should I tell him? I don't know. Because you might ruin the friendship forever if you do. It's risky. Hey, Maggie. Oh, okay. It's him. Hey, Lucas. What's up? Is he going to say he's going to pick us up? I want to thank you for helping me when I passed out in the match. Can I take you to a picnic dinner? We can watch the stars. Oh, that's cute. You're welcome. Picnic sounds fun. All right. Let's get you ready. Great. It's a date then. Bye. He called it a day. He said it's a date. Date? Yes, he did, Maggie. Yes, he did. He said D A T E. All right, so let's get your clothes on. It's a picnic, so I don't want her to look too like dressed up and stuff because it's a picnic. But I still want her to look super cute, and I think this outfit right here is so nice. I am in love. See, when you're like sitting on the floor in a picnic, wearing a dress or a skirt might be uncomfortable. So I'm thinking maybe shorts, but no, she needs something different. For me, it's between this one 
or that one. But I think we're gonna go with this denim skirt. And then let's go with some cute shoes. Let's see, ooh, those are so pretty. Or even these, girl, you are slaying it today. So now it's time for a little bit of makeup. There we go. So let's go with You're calling us a date. eye makeup first. Let's try this one here. That's a nice color. I like this one. We're gonna go with this color here. There. And then is this like shimmer and stuff? I don't want any shimmer. Let's keep it very simple. We don't want it to look like she's trying too hard on this date. Okay, that's a little too pink. That's a little too bright, girl. It's just a little too bright. Your cheeks are looking a little too red. I think this one there. And now some lipstick. Let's go with like a red maybe or something. Is this makeup too much? No, it's not too much, girl. I would never put too much makeup on you. That's a perfect color. And now the necklace that he gave her. Like red for love. That's what that stands for. She looks really nice for her date, I gotta say. I should be a fashionista now. Okay, here they are. This is so romantic. Should I kiss him? Whoa, girl, slow your roll. You haven't even told him you like him and you're already thinking about kissing him? You might scare him away. He's gonna be shook. Like, what does she want? I'm not gonna do that, you know? Look at them. They look so cute together. All right, so let's start off by decorating with fairy lights first. So, all oh, those string lights are so pretty. The hearts are really cute too. We're gonna go with those. And now for the picnic blanket. Oh, that's really cute. That reminds me of Coachella. Not that I've ever been to Coachella, but I would just imagine that people would use those kind of blankets at Coachella. There we go. We're gonna go with that one. So I always like picnic blankets These to have like an old person food. vibe. <laughs> Let's go with the cupcakes. We need hamburgers. Of course. And why milk? Can we have had like apple juice or something? Or water? Smells nice. I am hungry. And here are the drinks. So we're gonna go with coffee again. These these two kids really like coffee. They gotta stop drinking so much coffee though. This caffeine is not good for you. Okay, let's put that in there. And then again, we're gonna make it the same way that we did at the start because that's how romantic and cute we're gonna be. Bring back memories, you know. <laughs> right, so it was this one here. It was this straw for him. And it was mint in case he had bad breath. And then I remember hers like the back of my hand. Um, it was one ice, one sugar, another twirly uh, straw with the heart candy and the like yellowish red frosting, right? Yes, it was. It was that one, this one here, and this one here, I think. I'm pretty sure. So let's give them their drinks. Let's look at the I'll stars together. No this is where it's gonna get real romantic, you know, these stars. They just make people wanna kiss. <laughs> Should I kiss him? Whoa, she went for it! Oh my gosh, girl! I can't believe it. I'm shook. I am shook. And just like that, Maggie and Lucas ended up together i really like this app game because it was a nice story but my only thing is i felt like it rushed at the end too much i feel like it should have been two parts it should have been them going to this picnic her saying maybe that they wanted to be more than friends and then in the next one it could have developed their relationship and then it could have ended with a kiss. But I thought I still think it was a really nice story. But anyway, you guys, let me know. Were you team Emily or were you team Maggie? I gotta say, Emily was a great, great friend. I mean, she just she ended up just being like, look, Lucas, you are supposed to be with her. You go with her, you know? So she made him realize. So let me know in the comments down below. Were you team Emily or team Maggie? Once again, you guys, I hope you guys had fun watching. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and share. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!